Joe Rachel, black smoke and flames were seen billowing from the heart of downtown Nashville this morning, and people on the ground say buildings were shaking after the loud boom, all of this causing widespread chaos. And it all began just before 6 a.m. when Nashville police responded to a call of shots fired but found no immediate signs of a shooting. However, they did notice a suspicious vehicle and called for a hazardous unit, but the vehicle exploded around 6.30 a.m. local time while they were waiting, and police aren't ruling out terrorism. We do believe that the explosion was an intentional act. This investigation will be taking place throughout the day. Our police officers, with the assistance of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, are conducting a shutdown, if you will, of the downtown area while we assess this entire situation. And Nashville police say three people are in area hospitals for treatment, although none of them are in critical condition. And they say they're questioning suspects but aren't releasing further details. And the White House is following this situation closely with Deputy Press Secretary Judd Deere tweeting, quote, President Trump has been briefed on the explosion in Nashville, Tennessee, and will continue to receive regular updates. The president is grateful for the incredible first responders and praying for those who were injured. And the FBI is leading the investigation into this explosion. Federal investigators from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and Explosives, they're also on the scene and will bring you any new information as it comes in. Joe?